Returning to the baboons and another biological turtle. Oh, maybe maybe you don't want to bring the baboons into this. But how do testosterone and other hormones shape our behavior in ways that, again, sort of undermine this idea that it's our free-floating consciousness turtle that's doing the yeah. behaving? Well... Say with testosterone, I can I can easily get onto a soapbox with this. Everyone thinks testosterone causes aggression. Mm. Testosterone does not cause aggression. Testosterone makes individuals who are already socialized into being aggressive more likely to be aggressive. Testosterone lowers the threshold for social cues to provoke aggression in you. Testosterone is not turning on a radio, it's upping the volume once it's already on. And like that could be shown, it's sort of a nuts and bolts, you know, neural level as to what testosterone does there. So it has these effects. And what you then see is even more subtly, testosterone doesn't even lower your threshold for being aggressive. Testosterone lowers the threshold for you doing whatever it is you need to do to hold on to high status when it's being challenged. Okay, well, some of the time, like some other baboon is threatening you and it's all about sharp canines and the logical response then is aggression. But then we get humans. Then we get humans where like you could gain status by being the person who like picked up the most litter along the highway in your do-good group that goes and does that. Whoa, that gets you status, or you could get you status by like rich people now competing for how big of like research institutes they can endow in their names or things of that. Whoa, we can get status in really weird ways. And that produces a totally bizarre prediction. Like if you could put somebody in a circumstance like some game where you derive brownie points by being generous, testosterone would make you more generous. That's exactly what you see. Totally cool studies. Testosterone just makes you more sensitive to whatever social cues you have learned that provokes whatever social pathways you have learned to maintain dominance and high status. So it's not causing that. Okay, so what you would then say is, aha, aha, I think you have just like weakened your whole argument here because testosterone didn't cause any of those behaviors. Testosterone lowers the threshold for testosterone modulates person testosterone predisposes. And it turns out genes don't cause behaviors. Genes make you more or less vulnerable. They can affect a proclivity in a certain direction. Say, wow, it sounds like none of these things are actually deterministic. Where are you getting off saying like the world is deterministic? There's no free will. When you put all the pieces together, it's deterministic. Because you then have to ask, whoa, testosterone made this person, you know, murderously violent, and testosterone made that person give the highest bid at this charity auction. Well, I guess testosterone is not quite deterministic. Yeah, but we got a lot more deterministic going on when we understand how the person who is looking for status by way of stabbing somebody to death how they wound up being that sort of person versus one who, now that they've gotten rich from their IPO, they want to be seen as the richest person at this, you know, celebrity auction, how they wound up being that sort of person. Yeah, that's where you got to put all the pieces in there and put all the pieces in. And yeah, this hormone is modulatory. Yeah, that part of the brain's impact is about vulnerability. Yeah, this or that, you put all the pieces together. And that's when you see there's absolutely no room to squeeze in free will. Does testosterone have this same effect on women? Uh, restricting ourselves, though, of course, to this status-related sense, because obviously there are other effects like secondary sex characteristics that I'm not referring to, though those also certainly have their own effects on behavior. Yeah. Okay, so... First off, jargon, when I say testosterone, I was actually meaning that as part of a subclass of steroid testicular hormones called androgens. So women secrete androgens. 
Um, not a ton of them, maybe a tenth the level that males do. They don't come out of the testes because women don't have testes. They they come out in the adrenal glands, adrenal androgens. They're not exactly testosterone. They're pretty close structurally. And these androgens have a more muted version of the same effects on behavior that androgens do in males. Um, and thus you see all the same qualifiers. How much of a role does androgen play in causing female aggression? Not much at all, but it plays a modulatory role, lowering the threshold, blah, 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 all of that. Um, but the very first study showed that if you give volunteers androgens, like testosterone, in an, in an economic game where you are rewarded by being generous, people become more generous. The first study subjects, the first paper showing that were women. So androgens are doing the same thing in them as in men. <laughs>